this is me testing out my backgrounds like um, as a lot of you now know me and my parents moved house and um, all the filming locations I used to use at my old house I had gotten so used to filming in them so this is like starting 2022 as figuring out where I should film this place looks pretty good but I need to make the background more interesting somehow I need to sort out something cool for it put it that way but um, I got some great lighting here and it's comfortable so this is amazing but anyway let's get on to the video first of all happy new year like happy new year that is so crazy 2022 oh. time what, what a concept eh? what a concept I oh. I feel like I haven't been connecting with you guys as much as I usually do I mean I've been seeing on social media that a lot of people are starting to feel overwhelmed over the fact that social media is changing in terms of like over like the first or second lockdown ever that we had in the world well England I can only talk from a British experience I suppose but Instagram exploded in terms of its features and it's it's very overwhelming and I find it overwhelming as well like I um, TikTok used to be yes a bit of a thing and then it exploded into even more of a thing like um, I couldn't use my own name on TikTok for a bit like I tried to have Steph Hansen and that was it and it's like I've already taken I was like what do you mean and I thought nothing of it I thought oh there's just another Steph Hansen that's just making an account you know that's just using it so I put my username as Steph Hansen TikTok and that's what it is now and then I tried to log in on desktop with my email address and it was like, oh yeah and it logged me into Steph Hansen and I'm just like I had a TikTok and I, I did I've deleted it now I'm sorry to say so you can't go and find it I'm sorry I watched the TikToks and they were just random videos of me at the park like um, lip syncing to like songs like a few years ago in 2017 and I was just like when did I do this <laughs> So I'd engaged in TikTok and I didn't even realise and then TikTok became a big thing. And um, yeah, so I've noticed a lot of people are feeling overwhelmed over social media exploding. And I am very much aware that my audience is a split between younger people and older people. Like, I, other than the older people that know me personally in my personal life, I don't actually know why older people watch my content I, I genuinely I don't but I have to cater for both um, demographics as such so I, I try my best to do that so um, a lot of you guys that are in the older age group you say to me, oh, well, we don't really watch your TikToks. We don't have TikTok, but we want to engage in your content still that you make on TikTok. So I am going to be making a TikTok compilation um, each year. If I post an insane amount on TikTok per year, then I'll split it up, obviously. But for now, I don't make an insane amount of content on TikTok. I just make a little bit and I enjoy it. This video is kind of me just saying everything I want to say to you guys because I've gone through a lot of chaos recently as I've explained so let me just quickly recap so we moved house on November 5th 2021 and there was all the chaos of that um, just before that sorry start of October I got a job again at HMV 
So I was working that, getting used to that, moved house. Then there was my birthday on December 7th, so there was the chaos of that. The chaos of Christmas. And then um, I was working a lot, like a lot, at HMV and at the cinema a little bit. And it was non-stop, like I was working Boxing Day all day at HMV. The cinema, like for a long time on Christmas Eve and on New Year's Day. And um, I was working a lot and it was so hard to do anything. Like, there are some people in my life that are upset with me because I haven't been able to give them as much time as I usually can and um, it causes a lot of anxiety because I'm just like oh I'm desperate to do all of these things that I want and need to do but I hadn't had the time so now I've got you know a bit of time and I've got a to-do list and I'm getting down the list and um, I've also had a lot of job interviews to do um, in between moving house, so a week before we moved house, the internet fully cut off because even though we called the provider and said to them, oh, um, we were going to be moving on, what was it, October 29th, I think, and it got pushed back to November 5th. So we told them and then there was like a, a mishap, like a mix-up an issue with that and we ended up without internet then we ended up without a landline phone line we ended up without anything like that until we move into the house I'm in now so I didn't have internet for a long time so how I was like keeping myself entertained like because I didn't even have I didn't even have mobile like mobile data or mobile data however you say it in England America Australia, wherever you are watching this from, I um, yeah, we had we didn't have anything, and there was nothing we could do, and um, so I was da I was downloading episodes of TV shows from like Channel Four and BBC iPlayer. Well, not so much BBC iPlayer, but some of them anyway, like that. ITV Player, that was it. ITV Player stuff I could watch, like just whilst I'm about to go to sleep, like just to unwind a bit. So that got me through, like I was downloading the content whilst I was out and about using Wi-Fi at, let's say, a coffee shop, um, somewhere like that, anywhere that had Wi-Fi. So that's kind of how I got through it and I realised I didn't miss the internet as much as I, as I thought I was going to. And um, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. This YouTube channel, I love. I loved sharing content. I love making content so much, so much, and I love video editing. I love the whole thing, but the whole lot. But the people that message me, um, sometimes spoil that passion for me. Like my passion for creating content, editing content. So I get a lot of you, like quite a fair few of you, message me being like I'm bored when you're next getting a girlfriend. And I'm just like, well, I'm not just going to get a girlfriend for views. Like, why, why would I do that? The only reason why I ever shared my relationship publicly online was because that was the content I was naturally making. So like... In the week, I would spend time with my, my then girlfriend and we would go fun places and we would go on interesting trips and I wanted to document it. And um, I have this problem where I don't remember things as vividly as some people do. So if we, let's say if we went somewhere and it's took us a long time to travel there, it took a lot of money to be able to afford it to go there. I want to capture it to remember it, you know, and I want to remember that time. That's why I love media so much, that's where the large majority of my passion for media comes from, is capturing a moment whilst it's there. Because when it's gone, you, you can't bring it back, but the videos and pictures are going to be there forever, you know. 
Not that I'm saying that I miss people in my life that have left, not due to death, but due to just falling out with them, not being friends with them anymore, growing apart, things like that. I'm not, you know, that's not what I'm saying. But it's nice to have the memory there anyway, you know. And as well, oh my goodness, watching my, my life um, in videos, like, as soon as I graduated university, I was like, I'm going to do YouTube, and I made a YouTube channel, and I, you know, I share content with you guys as much as I possibly can, you know, every, every Sunday is my upload schedule, and I try my absolute hardest, beyond hardest, to stick to it. And watching it, like my autism and unemployment um, videos, seeing where I was back then and how it is now and how it's going to get better or not, or is, you know, kind of like that. So seeing myself grow as a person is like the best bit. Oh, it's the best bit. You know, and sharing it with people along the way, like you guys. You know, and the people in my personal life that know me, they know what I'm up to. They don't have to um, feel a disconnect. So it, it helps a lot. But um, I just want to say to you guys, in terms of the whole relationship thing, I'm not currently dating, like 100%, I'm not even looking, simply because I need a career, like I need a proper, proper career. So I'm trying my absolute hardest in any way that I know how to do that. And I have an amazing support network of family in particular, like um, parents, grandparents, a few of my cousins, um, my uncle on my dad's side, um, you know, people like that. And of course the universe because fates I believe in fate and what you are destined to do is what you will end up doing anyway like you have to try extremely hard and, and the universe has to work with you it can't just be one or the other and that's kind of how it works so I'm doing everything I possibly can to make that happen I um yeah so I'm going through a little bit of my personal life in terms of um there's been some people that have shown misconduct towards me. Absolutely nothing to do with YouTube. Um, something else in my life. And I am getting that dealt with. So that's hard. But has to be done. Very necessary. Not going to say any more about that. Probably ever on here. But um, yeah, so when I do get a girlfriend, it will be... When I'm in a job and I've moved out of my parents' house and I am a bit more established, because let's say if I got a relationship now and then I got a job that requires me to move to some random part of England, I'll be like, oh yeah, you know, we've been going on dates, you know, we're, you know, we're starting to really, you know, have a connection. And then I go, oh, by the way, I'm moving. Like, that just drops a bomb on them. That's just, that's not a good thing to do. It's just not nice. So, there's that. You know, I know I keep saying, so there's that, but there's that. So, yeah, so when I do get a relationship, I'm sorry to say, I'm not going to be sharing as much as I did on here of that relationship, like how I did with my ex, because I've realised that the internet could be quite a toxic place. And you guys will see this much of the story, when actually there is this much of the story, and you will judge the situation based on this much of the story, when there is actually this much of the story. You know, so, you know, like, for example, I couldn't say fully the reasons why me and my ex broke up. So you guys ended up just making it your own little thing, and, I'm, and having, um... And having opinions on it and kind of arguing with me but I'm like well you don't know the real reasons you know I yeah it's it's basically just not it's not stuff I'm allowed to share online you know but 
just because that's missing doesn't mean that you should disregard it and make your own kind of um, misconstrued conceptions on it all and how it happened you know so it's kind of like that but um I do owe you guys honesty so if I was ever dating anybody yes you would know about it you would know and if I moved anywhere or if I got a job anywhere yes you would know about it you know when the time is right I wouldn't leave it a long time and then everyone would be like oh you didn't tell us this you didn't tell us that it's it's never it's not going to be like that I'd never wait like six months to tell you oh by the way this oh by the way that no no you know I would leave it like a little bit of time like a month or two at the most you know just so I'm sure that this person isn't just gonna you know go away super soon and then and then what you know so there's that I have a job interview today as well <laughs> like later on today it's I'm, I'm really really trying hard but um yeah so Oh, this video is so long, but necessary, because it's been a long time since I just spoke to you guys. You know, sometimes content creators, they do these sit-down videos where they just speak to you guys. My parents are currently out getting their COVID boosters. Like, um, in the UK, if you're not aware, we have two vaccinations, and then they have introduced a booster vaccination. So my parents have gone to go and have that done I'm going to have that done fairly soon but I can't be ill like I can't be unwell and I have to time my sickness so that it doesn't affect my life too much so far I haven't had COVID at all like I've tested negative twice in the past like 24 hours like just because I ordered lateral flow test on the NHS website like the government website or something like that and they arrived to the house and I was like, oh brilliant, because it had been two weeks since I'd taken a test and I was like, it's important I take, a, take one just in case, because I work in retail, I was around my grandparents at Christmas and they're vulnerable, things like that, so, you know, I, I, don't, have, I don't have COVID. I think January 2020 I had COVID, I, I'm, I'm sure I am convinced that I had it then. But other than that, I haven't had it at all. So in terms of New Year's resolutions, um, someone asked me the other day, um, one of my cinema colleagues, he says, what are your New Year's resolutions? Do you have any? And usually I do, but I said to them, I've, pa I've basically carried them over year after year, um, partially because of the pandemic, but... Um, Partially just because the time wasn't right yet, whether I thought so or not, I suppose. But it's to get a proper, proper, proper job and to move out of my parents' house so that I have independence because my parents have given me the most incredible space to live in. It's amazing. It's like everything I could want and need. But nothing grows in your comfort zone and I have to move out at some point, you know. It's, it's, it's amazing to have my own independence for that. So there's that, those are the main ones. Get a proper, proper, proper job. Um, and to, um, what did I say before? To get a proper, proper, proper job. And to, yes, it's to move out of my parents' home. But also little goals, so I want to continue getting better at piano and guitar. I want to release music this year, which I am on track to do. And I'm going to get help for that soon from my guitar teacher and from my uncle. And um, things like that really. I'm going to obviously keep making loads of content for you guys where possible. I'm going to try my best just to, um, yeah, do more things online. You know, I, of course, of course, the absolute dream is to be an actress, of course. And I'm not going to lose sight of that at all you know I'm gonna try and pursue that wherever possible and however possible but anyway I'm aware this video is really long so um, I'm gonna end the video here please please in the comments below 
tell me what your New Year's resolutions are and anything you would like to say. And um, just make sure you stay safe and well. Still, still a problem for the world, you know. So please be responsible and, um, you know, get yourselves um, a lateral flow test if you are unsure if you have symptoms or not. And um, just don't be in extremely crowded places where possible and just be a responsible person, you know. Get vaccinated if you're able to. And I know that no one wants to hear about Covid so I'm not going to say any more about it because, oh... It is like the bane of everybody's lives, but um, yeah, leave in the comments below just how you're doing and what your New Year's resolutions are, things like that, and I will see you in another video. Bye!